all about woolly mammoths for kids. Do you recognize this animal? Here's a hint. Its fur might be considered woolly. If you said woolly mammoth, you're right. And today, we are going to talk all about this cool ancestor of modern-day elephants. Want to know why woolly mammoths were so woolly? It is because they lived on Earth during the time period called an ice age. An ice age happens when the Earth's global temperature lowers enough that the ice on the polar caps expands significantly, which leaves the land in North America and Northern Europe covered in giant sheets of ice and glaciers. Scientists have discovered that the Earth has experienced at least five significant ice ages during its history. Enter our friend, the woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths appeared on Earth around 300,000 years ago, during one of the Earth's ice ages, which is why mammoths had not one, but two layers of fur. The coarser outer layer of fur could be as long as 20 inches long and help the mammoth stay warm in the extreme cold temperatures, as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists estimate that woolly mammoths were around 13 feet tall, which is about the size of African elephants. But woolly mammoths had much smaller ears, which helped them maintain body heat in the frigid temperatures. They also had 15-foot-long tusks that they used to dig under the ice and snow for food, like grasses and shrubs. Here is an interesting fact. Woolly mammoths had a lump on their back, which scientists think were stores of fat that provided energy when food was hard to find. Kind of like a camel's hump. Super interesting, right? Like elephants, woolly mammoths mostly gave birth to one calf at a time, with the females and their babies roaming in their herd of about 15. Male woolly mammoths would leave the herd around the time they turned 10 years old. Scientists are not quite sure why woolly mammoths became extinct, but most think it was either because of humans overhunting mammoths or that when the earth began to warm, it destroyed the mammoths' habitats, or that it was a combination of both of these things. No matter the cause, most woolly mammoths became extinct around 10,000 years ago. But wait, here is another interesting fact. The last known group of woolly mammoths survived until around the year 1650 BC, which is over a thousand years after the pyramids at Giza were built. So, how do scientists know so much about mammoths? It is because they have actually been able to study mammoth remains. Here is an interesting fact. In 2012, an 11-year-old boy in Russia was walking his dog. He stumbled over something sticking out of the ground, and he realized he had tripped over the partial remains of a woolly mammoth. This discovery helped scientists figure out a lot of things about how the creature lived and what it looked like. And in 2022, a mummified baby mammoth was discovered in Canada after being buried for over 30,000 years. Wow! Who knew there was so much to learn about woolly mammoths? Let's review to see what you remember. What modern-day animal is the same size as the woolly mammoth? African elephant. True or false? Woolly mammoths had three layers of fur to keep them warm. False. They only had two layers of fur. Fill in the blank. Woolly mammoths lived during one of the Earth's blank ages. Ice. True or false? Mammoths had a hump on their back, 
which scientists think might have stored fat that provided energy when food was hard to find. True. Marvelous work, mammoth mavens! Even though woolly mammoths have been extinct for a long time, scientists are still studying and learning new things about this amazing animal. Maybe one day you will make a cool discovery that will help us better understand animals that are now extinct, like the woolly mammoth. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.